the left, where you see No More Hill, those are gonna be terraced gardens, so shady trees and flowering plants, and up the hill will be plazas, there'll be an outside bar, uh, places to sit, enjoy, and then you'll go into the grand lobby here. You see the shape of the building is starting to come to life, the little swoops representing the waves of the Gulf Shore. Back here is, you'll notice that it resembles the look of the front lobby very closely. It's our, the entrance to our education wing. So that has a whole separate entrance. It's actually also the entrance to the stage door and to backstage. But we're gonna go this way and we're gonna go up the hill, we're gonna go into the lobby. You see that the lobby is about 150 feet long. Off of the lobby are the three main spaces, the main stage, studio theater, and the main rehearsal hall, which has a catering kitchen behind it, so it'll also function as a, as a rental space for us as well. So, shall we go into the main stage? So this is the main stage theater, designed to be like a little Broadway house, you know? So in a way, this is almost like you're in the orchestra section of a Broadway house. If you come all the way down here, you can look back and you can see the mez. The mezzanine only has three rows. There's stadium seating, so it's really, really good seats up there. This current stage is the size of the seats in the Nora Center plus the stage in the Nora Center times two. Oh my wow. God. Yeah. <laughs> so that alone is a triumph. 100 feet wide and 20 foot wings on either side. So we'll definitely be able to do things that are a little bigger than what we can do in the Nora Center right now. And this is the studio theater. It's about 50 by 50. We're building a 20,000 square foot production shop as well over in East Naples. So all of our sets will be constructed over there and our costumes and everything. And it'll all come in in that loading dock and right straight down the hall to this theater or to that theater, so. This is our main stage rehearsal hall. So this is the Struthers Hall where we will rehearse for the shows that are in the main stage. enough know exactly how long this has taken to get here. Almost 20 years to be total, in total, but it's hardcore, like the last 10 years have been spent working on this dream. So really excited to finally invite you into the new Baker Theater and Education Center. So the first time I was here was 2006 and we we're doing a play called Lifetimes 3, which is about string theory, but really about the three different ways in this play that your life could go. And it was at that time in 2006 that Kristen told me she was living in a condo right over there and she would get up in the morning and she'd have her tea before rehearsal and she'd look over into this space and she would see light coming up through the ground in a theater happening. And it's one of the most beautiful, powerful, overwhelming feelings in the world right now to think about this play that was all about directions your life could go in and to see that this theater, this dream has been made manifest. Like, I can't see it because I'm wearing sunglasses, but I've basically been low-key crying all through this tour. It is such a testament to Kristen. It's a testament to Southwest Florida. I'm so excited for Gulf Shore Playhouse. I'm so excited for Naples and what this is going to mean for the community. I've been here since the beginning. I saw years ago the drawings for this entire building, and we spent years looking at it. And now it's just amazing to see exactly how it comes to life. I mean, it's an incredible, incredible structure. To hear all of the things this space will be alive morning, noon, and night. It isn't just gonna have sh shows at night and be empty for the rest of the day. The incredible thing about this space is that Kristen and Joel have figured out a, a way to make use of this space the entire day. There's gonna be lectures, there's gonna be education programs. Everything about this space is gonna be alive and used. And I think that that is, is gonna be such an incredible community draw. And it's really going to be the, one of the cornerstones, if not the artistic cornerstone, of Naples. And that's, that's the most exciting thing to me. So congratulations. It's amazing. Today has been a great day. We are opening our New Works Festival today here in 2023. And we just brought all the actors and stage managers, directors from the New Works Festival over for the first time theater makers got to take a tour inside of our building and it was just reminding me how much this building is filled with joy. This building is built to be a center that's first of all a temple to words, a temple to art and creativity, to coming together with your family and friends, and most of all to joy. 
It's going to be filled with joy, bustling out of the themes backstage, on the stage, rehearsal rooms, rental spaces, everywhere, inside and out. This building will be a place of joy. What I want to be sure of is that you have joy when you enter this building. If you're one of those people who will later, after this building opens, walk in and go, darn, why wasn't I involved? Why didn't I get invested? Why didn't I get to the point where I was giving a gift to help make the dream a reality? Then talk to us now because we're closing out this capital campaign within the, within the next season. And if you don't talk to us now, your name won't be on the donor wall. And we want your name and your family's name to be commemorated for generations to come and know that you were invested in making the arts and culture possible in Naples and that you wanted to leave a legacy that said so for your family and yourself and we want you to be able to say this is important to me the arts and culture matter and I want to leave a legacy gift for generations to come thank you so much